Hey there. And we're going to talk about something different as soon as I uh, finish off this uh, cart. It's actually healthy eating time for Aaron. And it's time for some introspection. Today, I made a big mistake. A rookie mistake, really, when it comes to collecting. When you find something that you've been looking for for a long time, that completes something, the best bet you can do is to go with it. I was in a flea market setting today, and because of the fact it was a flea market setting and there was so, many, so much that was fairly inexpensive and fairly cheap, I picked up some really cool stuff. But some stuff that I would normally pick up at a, at a certain price, I passed on. Because uh, I thought, well, that's a little bit more expensive than the stuff at the other tables. Well, there was a reason for that. It was stuff that mattered. And it was stuff that, honestly, was priced very inexpensively once I checked it out. So, I'm going to talk about it. I'm from North America. I'm from Canada, uh, Newfoundland, to be exact. And uh, I pretty much lived in Newfoundland, Ontario, and Alberta for, like, uh, most of my life. I moved around a lot. And uh, if you thought it was hard, like getting to know people when you're kind of awkward. Imagine if you're moving every few months and above that I, you're epileptic. And I had all those things. It was a huge deal for me. I uh, stuttered a lot. Understanding what I said, not always the easiest. But more than anything else, I was a shy and uh, ashamed of the fact that I had epilepsy. Until one night. And I remember it clearly. I uh, was home, and uh, about two weeks before that, I had a seizure. And I had a grand mal seizure. And uh, what that meant was, it was one of the serious ones. It was one of the passing out, shaking ones. And I had it in front of uh, a friend that was very important to me. Somebody I played with a lot. And uh, the next week, after I got out of the hospital and came back to that, my uh, friend didn't uh, come around. And uh, when, uh, when he came over, he was kind of like, he was distant and stuff. And I found out from uh, later on from somebody that uh, he was a little scared of me because I, uh, what I looked like when I got sick. And I couldn't blame him. He was a kid. We were kids. And you're very visual and that type of stuff looks kind of scary. But it's, it stood with me for a long time. It stuck with me uh, when, I, when I went to, uh, to date and when I went to make friends. I worried that even after I stopped having the seizures like I did have them before, I still worried that, you know, this could come back and somebody would not like me because of that reason. But one night, it was a Tuesday, I think. I was pretty sure it was a Tuesday. I was sitting down watching a TV. And Degrassi came out. And Degrassi is a show for uh, for teens. And back in the original series, the original day, it was a show that was meant for... Uh, they didn't use actors. They used real teenagers. And many of those went on to become actors and stuff later, but they used real people, and they didn't use, like, glamorous-looking people or kids that looked like Beverly Hills non to know. They looked like real kids, like the people that went to school with you and me. So it gave it a more air of realism to it. And the stories often weren't wrapped up in the 25 to 30 minutes episodes that they were done. And even if there were two pirates, they still never wrapped up with a completely satisfying conclusion because life doesn't work that way. And uh, that night, there was the, the one of the main stars was named was Caitlin, and I was in love with this girl. Of course, I'm a young teen boy, and uh, she's my age, and she's on there. And, uh, the episode was about her and, uh, her being in, a in the school play. Something that was extra special for me because I, I was always in the school play. It was big for me. But she wasn't sure if she was going to go on it because it was revealed in this episode that, uh, Caitlin was epileptic. And not only that, but she took the same pills that I took. I recognized them right away. Um... Uh, 
the real lives of the act of the of the people of the actors were often written into the stories for uh, for Degrassi, and uh, there are some serious ones, child you know, child abuse, rape, a lot of serious issues were written in there for teenagers to talk about. It wasn't meant to give you a a, a reason to. It wasn't meant to give you like an okay, this is. It, this is the perfect way that it's going to work. It was like meant to cause conversation. And today I uh, walked to a table and I saw the complete Degrassi. It was in two box sets. Uh, Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. And uh, more than anything else as a kid, I went to this for, uh, for answers and for more questions. And uh, today I passed it up. I uh, stupidly passed it up. I've never seen it anywhere complete except for here today. The only other time I saw it was $100 at HMV two years ago. Today I sat for the first time and I passed it up. And I regret it wholeheartedly, sincerely, as a collector and as somebody that has something that meant a lot to them and made me hold my head high in some times when maybe I really didn't inside feel like I could hold my head high. It did it for me. One day it'll come up again and I'll find it and I'll be on the lookout and I won't make the same mistake again. So that's my collect a regret story and a little bit personal I guess but uh tell me uh do you have something you regret something you saw something you had in your hands something you didn't pick up and why was there a personal reason behind it is it just oh, I should have got that it was it turned out to be way more expensive but that's my story and uh I gotta eat these before they get all limp and stuff so thanks for watching have a great day I'm going to eat my food, got some studying to do, I'm going to pull an all-nighter. You may see me back here when I take my next break, making another video. So thanks for watching, guys, and for me right now, it's time for carrots, cucumbers, and tea.